Hi, we're here with Chuck Marfioni in his wonderful shop. Uh, I drove over oh, about six hours to see him and brought a beautiful Darren Hipner instrument that was very hard to play. And wow, Chuck, you've done an amazing job setting this up. I had no idea this instrument could play the way it does. Could you tell me a little bit about what you did? Sure, Gordon. Well, you know, setting up a guitar is really evaluating a number of different elements, and that is the nut, the saddle, the uh, the uh, uh, the frets, the relief in the in the fretboard itself, the strings. Uh, you know, all these things are playing together here. So what I did is I first you know, took and you know evaluated the just the frets themselves, and just to see if we had any unlevel frets using this little tool called the fret rocker. Uh, and I also then used a, uh, a straight edge uh, to, which is over here, let me go get it, and to evaluate and see if it, we had any relief to work with on this. And this relief is extremely important. We can go into that a bit later if we need to. Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, again, evaluating the height of the strings above the fretboard here at the nut and also the height of the strings. Uh, here at the 12th fret, and also taking into consideration the height of the strings above the soundboard itself. So, but actually, the, the, the work is uh, you know pretty much just taking and reworking the nut, uh, perhaps. In this case, we actually we actually created a we new cut nut. a new nut. We cut, cut a new, a new nut, nut on yeah. this one, and also uh, you know uh, evaluating the saddle here for uh, for height. And making a determination that how much of this saddle we need to actually shave off uh, in order to get the string height down, especially here at the 12th fret. This is kind of like the fulcrum or the center point here. And, you know, getting it down to a point where overall the playability of this guitar across the whole neck is much more comfortable. You know, so, again, you know, making a new nut. Lowering the saddle, uh, taking and polishing or leveling any frets that are high, uh, and in this case also putting just a little bit of relief in here by, by uh, shaving some of these frets so that we have a little bit of, 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 uh, of let's say, just headroom here so that when we're playing a note, uh, we're not getting any buzz on these Going up I was just, I was amazed to learn how much goes into the inner fit of the, the bridge and the nut and the frets and that all of this together really, uh, as you did this, created a better sound for the guitar. I mean, the guitar to me sounds about 20% better than it did. It's very even. The basses came out. They're very punchy. And it's like I got another guitar. So. Well, again, because you've got all these elements and they're all playing together, any one of any one of these by themselves, you know, obviously can have an impact. But when they, when you now start take all of these elements and putting them together, uh, you know, if you compromise here and compromise here and compromise on the frets, compromise on the strings, compromise on the height, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to have a compromised. Playability. And the yeah. thing I'm most impressed by is your, your wealth of knowledge that you have about this. You've worked with some other builders and studied some other things. And uh, you said something about uh, learning some things from Kenny Hill. And, of course, his instruments are so incredibly yes. well yeah. playable. Well, um, I think, that, you know, essentially from Kenny, I, the, the statement that really, that really stands out is, is he builds his guitars from the strings down. And that's a quote from him. Uh, and... You know, you really have to kind of think about setting a guitar up from the strings down as well. And, you know, so it's, again, it's just a matter of evaluating all of these different elements. And, you know, some of it comes from experience. Some of it's trial and error. Uh, and, and you just kind of work it a little bit at a time. Uh, so, you know, we've been able to do a great job. I'm really pleased with the way this is. And I'm oh, more than uh, pleased with the fact that, my client is pleased. Uh, yeah, I just uh, I can't wait to get my hands on that. And now we're going to do a few other guitars I brought you. Yeah, well, we have four more, four more Hipners to work on. <laughs> well, great, Chuck. Thank you. And uh, this has really been uh, exciting. I live on the East Coast here, and, you know, the, I thought I was going to have to ship these off to somebody on the West Coast, but I think I found somebody just as qualified. You're always welcome. Thank you.